In graph theory, the handshake lemma says the sum of the degrees of all vertices in a graph will be twice the number of edges. Or written mathematically, we could express it like this. We say for each v vertex within the vertex set of a graph, if we take the sum of the degree of each vertex, it will be equal to two times the total number of edges. So these bars around the E represent the total number of edges in a graph. Now there are two interesting implications of the handshake lemma. The first is that the sum of the degrees will be an even number. And the second implication is that the number of vertices with an odd degree in a graph must be an even number. So I'm going to show you three examples of different graphs and we'll see how the handshake lemma applies to each of the graphs. All right, let's consider this graph right here. It's a very simple graph, but it offers a good place to start. We can see that this graph has one, two, three vertices. Now to calculate the degree of a vertex, that's simply the number of edges that actually connect to that vertex. So if we consider this first vertex right here, we can see that only one edge is connected to it. So the degree of this vertex is just a one. So let's write a one right here. Now if we consider this middle vertex right here, we can see that there are two edges that are connected to it. So the degree of this vertex is two. And then lastly, this vertex right here only has one edge connected to it, so it has a degree of one. Now if we add up all of the degrees, so one plus two plus one, we get four. We would say the sum of the degrees is four. Now we'll notice that this graph has two edges. So here's one and here's one. So there are two total edges. So we can write the number of edges is two. So we will see that the sum of the degrees of all the vertices, four, it is indeed twice the number of edges, just as the handshake lemma says it should be. And we can see that both of these implications are also true in our graph. So the sum of the degrees is an even number. So that's true, the sum is four. And the number of vertices with an odd degree must also be an even number. So in our graph, we can see that here's a vertex with an odd degree, so a number of one, and here's another vertex with an odd degree, so a degree of one. And we can see that there are two total vertices with an odd degree, so two is an even number. And this will always be the case because if you have a vertex with an odd degree, there must be some other vertex that also has an odd degree so that those two can pair up to form an even number. So we can see that the handshake lemma and both of the implications do indeed apply to this graph. All right, now let's consider this graph. Let's first find the degree of each vertex. So if we start with this vertex right here, we can see that it has one, two edges connected to it. So it has a degree of two. Then if we consider this vertex right here, we'll also find that it has two edges connected to it. So it also has a degree of two. And if we just work our way around this graph, we'll find that each of these vertices has a degree of two. So the sum of all of the degrees is two plus two plus two plus two plus two, which is 10. So the sum of the degrees is 10. Now, if we count the number of edges in this graph, we'll find that it's one, two, three, four, five, five total edges. So we find that indeed the sum of the degrees is twice the number of edges. And we'll find that both of the implications of the handshake lemma are also true in this graph. So the sum of the degrees is an even number. So 10 is an even number. And the number of vertices with an odd degree is also an even number. So in this graph, we didn't have any vertices with an odd degree. So in other words, we had zero vertices with an odd degree. So zero is an even number. So we can see that the handshake lemma and its implications also apply to this graph. All right, let's check out one more example. Let's say we have this graph right here. Let's first calculate the sum of the degrees of each vertex in this graph. So what we'll find is that for each of these vertices on the outside, they all have a degree of three. So there's exactly three edges that are touching each of those vertices on the outside. And for this vertex right here in the middle, we'll see that it has one, two, three, four edges touching it. So it has a degree of four. So let's write a four right there. Now, if we add up all of these degrees, three plus three plus three plus three plus four, it turns out to be 16. So the sum of the degrees is 16. And if we count the number of edges in this graph, we'll find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total edges. So we would write the number of edges is eight. So again, we see that the sum of the degrees is twice the number of the edges, just as the handshake lemma predicted. And we will find that both of the implications of the handshake lemma are also true. So the sum of the degrees is an even number. Yes, 16 is an even number. And the number of vertices with an odd degree 
must be an even number. So here's a vertex with an odd degree, so three. Here's another one with an odd degree. Here's another one, and here's another one. So there are four total vertices with an odd degree. So four is also an even number. So those were just three different examples of graphs that I wanted to share to show how the handshake lemma applies to different graphs. Now, one last thing that I want to mention about the handshake lemma is that one useful application that it has is if you calculate the degree of each vertex in a graph, and then if you take the sum of all of those degrees and you come up with an odd number, you know you must have made a mistake because the sum of all of the degrees must be an even number. So the handshake lemma just offers a nice way to double check that you calculated the correct number of degrees in a graph.